my face is complete again. Hello, dear viewers. Assuming the thing's on, the light only comes on half the time, it seems. It's very annoying. Um, today I am reviewing Holston Festbach, which is this stuff. But firstly, I think a word or two must be said about, um, certain things. Specifically, tactile telekinesis, as it is depicted in comics. Now, it's supposed to explain, uh, Superboy's, um, that is to say, uh, hang on. Superboy, I just rather late at night. Obviously, it's even past midnight. You definitely won't be getting this until probably early tomorrow, but I did record it. Okay, as far as I'm concerned, it's still Friday because I haven't slept yet, so... Um... Right. His power is Superboy, um, who is not Superman as... Okay, he's not Call el He's a different guy. He's, um, a, a, still of the House of L, but I think his name starts as, as something different. Um... con -El. Yeah, that's it. Um, con -El. I, I I thought that. I should just remember it. Anyway, um, the problem with him is that his power is, quote, tactile telekinesis, which I think is bloody stupid. Because, watch this. Telekinesis means, um, basically energy from a distance. That's what tele means. Tele is a telescope, seeing things at a distance. Television, seeing things at a distance. Um, telephone, hearing things at a distance. Telekinesis, moving things at a difference. Now, distance. Now, tactile means touching. So touch things at a distance. So basically, you just cancel itself out. You're left with kinesis. It's just bloody kinesis. Um, now, I think this is very silly. Um, now, uh, what was I? Um, so, I discussed with my friends, the friends earlier today, and they were like, yeah. So, I move things with the power of my mind, but I have to touch them to do it. So basically, you're just, you're just super strict. No, because I, I have muscles. See? Well, I have muscles, but... Ooh, yeah, let's show off the guns for a bit, huh? Um, no. Oh, uh, stop that. Um, gun show. Anyway, so apparently it's just super strong, doesn't look it, and that's just really silly. Apparently it makes him fly. Um, I think this is a big waste, but I can't they just say super strength and flight, and durability, because it probably also makes the skin hard. Um, and other things, because, uh, this is a kid's comic, isn't it? That's to be comics code forbids such any windows. I don't know what I'm talking about. Also, it is a very, very, very bad idea to leave the vacuum on too long for a vacuum desiccator because then the lid fuses to the to the pole pot thing and it ends up ruining it. So definitely do not ever do that. Um, now, as I said before, today's beer is Holston Festbach, which looks like this, except on Tuesdays. Um, And I'm going to review it. Now, it's a very pleasant appearance, I think. I really like this dark amber color. Um, very clear. I mean, yesterday's half of was rather cloudy, indicating that it was not properly filtered. Um, and how does it... Smells rather nice. Uh, definitely not a boring smell or a boring taste. One cannot accuse this beer of being boring. One can accuse Miller Lite of being boring, but uh, Miller Lite is a rather different thing. Um, what is it? Huh, the oil light is basically soda water colored yellow. Now, where was I? Right. Now, the smell of this beer. Yeah, we got some nice smoky, it's, it's a very dark malt because they cook it longer than they would with uh, with some of the stuff like Living Boy, which is much lighter. Um, so you get plenty of a smoke flavor to it. Mm. And definitely plenty of acidity to this as well. I'm not entirely sure why. Um, mm. Feels very nice in one's mouth. Um, With, you know, it's not too thick. It's not, however, extremely runny. And the carbonation does not sting so much. Because one thing I find with a soda is that um, carbonation does do a strong cutting into one's tongue. And, uh, well, I disapprove of this. Um, so, that's why I often let my soda go flat. Or especially ginger ale. Ginger ale is great flat. Um, now, that's the taste. Let's see. Rich, smoky taste. A bit acidic, but, um, ooh, there's some sweetness to it. I didn't notice that at first. Um, I have to change my review. I'm also reviewing some beer advocate as we sort of speak, which is why I'm clicking and typing and so forth. Um, anyway, I'm actually enjoying this beer more than I initially thought. I'm actually improving the score I wrote before I started filming this thing. So, 
There you go, Paul. I'm not. I haven't forgotten my beer advocate. Beer advocate duties. I'm still doing it. And uh, as when I drink this, um, if I, when I would seek this out, I'm not sure I would seek this out. I think, oh yeah, holster fresh buck. I had a nice time with that one. Um, but I would probably still pick the living boy up instead. But uh, this is really a nice beer, and I would not refuse it if offered. Um, I suppose we'll have to let it warm up a bit, because if it's too cold, you get most of the acidity. Uh, I've infected my Hefeweizen review, actually. Um, well, I don't need more Hefeweizen, so I can't review it. Um, so, anyway, let's see what the future Wikipedia article is, huh? Wikipedia. Uh, this sort of beer grows, I want to think. Hmm. Henry Wells was a senior officer in the Australian Army. Well, I had a lot of those. Come on. Serving as Chief of General Staff from 1954 to 1958, his career culminated with his appointment as the first Chairman Chiefs of Staff Committee, a position making him, marking him as the professional head of the Australian military. Now, what is the Australian military? I'm probably going to pull stupid jokes out of my head, like, uh, ooh, they throw boomerangs a lot, yeah. Or, uh, they wear corks in their hat, and the corks deflect bullets. Um, because of a bunch of Australia. I want to go there. I really do. Especially, I think, in July, because then it won't be nearly as warm. Um, and I don't like warmth, as it, as anyone who knows me knows. I should be kept in the cold and the dark. That's where I wear these sunglasses all the time, even at night. I wear my sunglasses at night. Anyway, dear viewers, remember this. Mount Kilimanjaro slopes up, 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 until you reach the very top. That does a slope away rather sharply. Good day.